representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category. The Stewart Boat Works 23 has an overall length of 23 feet 3 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Built for a soft, stable ride in offshore conditions, she has a draft of 14 inches, a dead rise of 17 degrees, a dry weight of 3,200 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 100 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. George Rick, I'm so excited to be on the Stewart Boatworks 23 today. First off, walking up, I thought it was bigger than a 23. Look how wide and clean this boat is. I'm excited to be on it today. George, a boat's supposed to have a lot of years on it before it's called a plastic, right? You look back up. Doesn't this boat have that feel? I mean, you look at the pod, you look at the lines, and it's like they've grabbed the lines off of so many great boats and molded it into this 23. This is a gorgeous machine. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's got a lot of custom boat style and a lot of kind of traditional look to it. I've admired these boats from afar for a long time. You know, I've never ridden on a Stewart Boatworks boat, either one, the 23 or the 27. I'm really excited to see what she can do. It's real windy today. We're going to have some conditions to test her out in. I'm really stoked. Yes, you're right. The wind is cranking. It ain't the sailfish day we hoped for, but it's plenty of day to see what this boat can do. Let's get started. One boat that I really enjoyed this season was this 23-footer from Stewart Boatworks. It's a really classic design built with a lot of quality features, and you know, it's a boat that's going to be familiar to South Florida boaters because it looks like a lot of boats that we've seen in the Bahamas if you've been there. Well, Stewart Boatworks is a version of that boat. It's a boat that's got the Bahamian skiff style, but it's also got beautiful South Florida custom boatwork quality. You know, the unique hull design, the bottom of this boat is really set up unlike a lot of boats that you see, especially center consoles nowadays. This boat is more like a displacement hull that runs really fast. The bow never pops up, you never lose visibility. It's like an instant on-plane design where the hull actually lifts out of the water and stays level and all of a sudden you're just up on plane. This is a fully resin-infused hull and all the components, the deck, the liner, the cover, the hull, everything is bonded together from the rub rail down to the water line. This boat is really built solid. It's all held together and it's going to give you a ride that feels like you're in a boat that's made out of one solid piece of material. Now one of the advantages you're going to find with a boat like the Stewart 23 is the customization factor. Every last little minute detail on this boat is going to be attended to. You're going to be looking at a finished product that somebody took every single thing that you want into consideration. This is not an assembly line production boat. This is a custom quality boat and it shows all over the boat. Let's talk about tackle storage. They've got it up on the console. They've got it back on the live well. They have got tackle storage all over that boat. You could load it up to do four or five different kinds of fishing and you'd never run out of room to put your gear. A fisherman will know that the best place to put a live well is at the calmest place on the boat because you don't want your bait to get jostled around. On the Stewart Boat Works, that was behind the helm. They had a round live well, which is my favorite design, and they had it plumbed so it had a lot of output and an easy overflow to keep your baits fresh. We could have kept live baits in there all day with no issue. The forward seating, I'm the last one to like the wraparound seating in the bow, but in the 23 Stewart Boat Works, it worked. It wasn't so wide that you had to lean too far over to gaff a fish. It gave you plenty of room to sit, and it was exactly the right height to where you didn't feel like you were sitting up too high on the boat. Under the bow seating, you've got storage on both sides, and whether you want to use it for a fish box or storage, you can. Now, seeing that this is a custom boat, you can do whatever you want. If you don't want those seats there, you don't have to have them. You can actually do a coffin box if you want to. You also have an insulated box under the seat at the console, which was great. Today we used it for a cooler. I actually sat there for a little bit today, and I love a cup holder, and you had a cup holder on each side. I finally figured out why this boat feels so much bigger than a 23. It had high gunnels, a closed transom, a lot of room to walk around. It was a very clean laid out boat. Guys, I can't believe our day is already over. I was so comfortable on the boat today. I loved everything about it from sitting up here at the bow to the storage. I need more time though. I said I see the old world charm of the Bahama style boat and the new modern technology built into that. 
and that is exactly what we got today. This boat did not disappoint. You know, it really combined a lot of that historical looking boat with very modern technology and the finish work on the boat, Rick. I mean, come on, does it get any better than this? No, it doesn't, but George, in the Bahamas, their boats are their cars. You understand what I'm saying? Hop in the boat, we gotta go to the grocery store. There's a reason why they laid these boats out the way they did and built them the way they did. When have we ridden on a 23-foot center console boat the road better than this one? I can't think of a time. I mean, it's absolutely that soft ride, that little round bottom. I mean, there's just so much to like about it. Listen, if you're in the market for some old world charm and some space age technology, the Stewart Boatworks 23 definitely needs to be in your wheelhouse.